Hi, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today I am here in Wheeling, West Virginia, and we're going to be taking a look at the Hempfield Tunnel. Now this tunnel is a good example of adaptive reuse. It has not only been transformed from a rail tunnel to a rails to trails, but as you can see there is a nice paved path in here and there are lights. Now this tunnel is under 500 feet long and does have a slight curve as you can see. So it is really great that we do have the lights, otherwise there would probably be a point in this tunnel where it was just total darkness. Now you can see this is of course a brick line tunnel. It was built in the 1850s and um, operated for quite some time. I'm not sure the exact date that operation ceased, but I do know that around 1990 the tracks were removed and in 1996 it became part of the rails trails. Now you will notice that the tunnel does have some water leakage in it and some crumbling areas. You'll also notice we have our nice little alcoves that you could hide in if a train was coming. Now, this tunnel is of course also rumored to be haunted. There are two main rumors of the hauntings here. One is that above our very ceiling here was originally a cemetery. And when they went to build the tunnel, they of course move the bodies in the cemetery however most reports say that they have no idea if they got them all and um i did once find a source where someone who was in charge of that apparently said we think we got most of them which is not comforting at all now the second story of haunting here involves a man who committed a murder that is believed to have happened in this tunnel now he was supposedly um, sentenced to death and was the last death by hanging in this part of West Virginia. And apparently he now haunts this tunnel. Now having looked up some people's experiences, people hear ghostly noises, see ghostly figures. And interestingly enough, some people have said that they have seen um, a ghostly apparition hanging from the ceiling, which is most often attributed to the murderer who was later hanged elsewhere. Now this tunnel was um, rebuilt in the early 1900s and as we actually come out the other end here you will see that we have the plaque where it was rebuilt it looks like 1904 and 1905 and here are the names of the people who rebuilt it. Now also as we get out to the end here you will see the aqueduct which I will try to get some good shots of here at the end. Um, it's actually very beautiful, but there's not really that great of a location to see it from. And of course, here is the tunnel. You can see there is the 1904 Keystone. And here is the tunnel portal. Of course, we will back up a bit so we can get a full picture view. And there we go. And then to end this video, let's go ahead and try to get a good look at this aqueduct from over here. It also curves slightly and just has a beautiful design. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see it, but it does curve and has some beautiful archways. Now also before this tunnel is a history um, placard that gives you the history of the Tunnel Green area. It also gives you the history of Wetzel's Cave, which is nearby, and of Lewis Wetzel. Anyway, this is the Hempfield Tunnel and Aqueduct here in Wheeling, West Virginia. It is, of course, a public railroad trail that you can come visit, and I definitely recommend it. It is a great example of adaptive reuse, and it's just a fun place overall. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.